Veed, at 6.32 this morning, we're pushing authorities to figure out if the body found inside an SUV registered to this woman, missing mother Erica Hernandez, is indeed the local mother. It's a case we've been following since she first went missing last month. KPRC 2's Vincent Crivelli live at the scene of the lake where that vehicle was found submerged. Vince? Lisa, good morning. Today, the medical examiner will likely take a look at the body that was recovered here late last night. Meanwhile, the Hernandez family is still holding out hope that Erica is alive. The Hernandez family held hands, bowed their heads in prayer, and shared their pain. For the last three weeks, the missing persons unit, along with the FBI and Texas EquiSearch, has been looking for leads and the disappearance of Miss Erica Hernandez. Houston police say the license plate and the make of the vehicle found in the body of water match the description of the SUV that belongs to mother Erica Hernandez. Our condolences go out to the family as they go through a painful time of waiting for a positive identification on one individual that was found inside the vehicle. Detectives would not say what led them here in the first place or whether the body inside was that of a man or a woman. The car, I mean, it's her car and there's a body in there, but I don't really feel anything right now. Ashley Hernandez is Erica's sister. Family members stood by patiently waiting as divers searched the water and crews pulled out the SUV. Ashley says some things just don't add up. We're racking our brains about why she would even be on this street. There's no reason that we could ever think of. We can't think of not one reason why she would be here. Police say the body of water is between 8 and 15 feet deep, and they believe the SUV likely went into the water about the same time Erica went missing. Are you still holding out hope that she's alive? You know, we can always hope that. And police say there is damage consistent with a vehicle hitting a curb before entering the water. Reporting live in Pearland, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, 2 News. Vincent, thank you.